this song, this prayer, is the Jewish prayer for compassion. It is sung in Hebrew, and uh, it is an arrangement that I created in order to really to, to bring this energy of compassion into the world. Rahmana Diane minority, a statistic, 
simplistic non-entity, or someone living with dignity. The waddle is art. I've got a big heart. I'm a crone, not prone to being invisible. I got three chin hairs, and it's hard climbing stairs. But I'm here, you hear? So look at my personality, or do you think age is a liability? The crow's feet are art. It's parcel and part of a crow not prone to being invisible. If I look invisible to you, you must be blind, because you can't see a person trying to live with mutual respectability. Aging is a gift with wisdom that uplifts, and I am welcoming the crone. So this is a beautiful lullaby that was first recorded by Paul Robeson in the film uh, Big Fella in 1937, and it's Robeson's lullaby. Oh, my baby, my curly-headed baby, we'll sit below the sky and sing a song to the moon. Oh, my baby, my curly-headed baby, your daddy's in the cotton fields working late and so. Calling of the 
the seal, thy soft calling to me. Let me oh, harobano, let me oh, harobani, let me harobano, sad am I without thee. When I'm lonely, gentle heart, dark the night and wild the sea, thy love's a light my foot finds the old path. Way to thee, let me oh, harobano, let me oh, harobani, let me oh, harobano. Sad am I without thee. And uh, I wrote this song at. Uh, sorry, not a song. I wrote this poem during a time of real unhappiness for me. And I heard a conversation between the wonderful late um, Wayne Shorter and Herbie Hancock. And one of them said to the other, make certainty your ally. And I went, what? And I wrote it down and I came up with, make certainty your ally. Make certainty your ally, a wise man once said, and I took those words as if they were a skein of yards, knitted them into a cloak, wrapping my dilemmas in its warmth. For that, I am grateful. The words, the warmth, the hope, and in hours, and then moments of quiet desperation, I thought I would lose that thread, and it would all unravel. But it didn't, and for that I am grateful. A caring friend called, another sent a letter, each knowing that I matter to them. Yet I saw the darkness and I cried, Where is the light? Where is my light? And then I let the thread go, like a balloon sailing in the air, or a kite ready to be liberated. At first, it felt like a leaf floating, relieved of being part of a tree. And then it felt like anguish, the uncertainty of the unfamiliar. A voice, a message sails on the wind, crying, reach for grace, the dignity of imperfection. Be grateful. You have touched the face of boredom. Boredom would torture you. Boredom would demean you. You came close and then you veered. Uncertainty did that for you. There is more to life than being certain. There is hope. A dream yet to be discovered. You cannot do it when you are assured. It must be done when you need an ally. No, they are there, all your allies. They are hidden in the invisible uncertainty. Be grateful, walk in dignity, have hope. Let the dream find you. You got rid of what, did, of what didn't serve you. The smile will come. Your heart will fill with gladness. This is the promise of time. It is yours. Look no longer at what doesn't serve you. Go forth. Be grateful. Be. I'm done. <laughs>